Hello everybody. Well, you can see my table here completely overtaken by just painting and hobby implements and uh, and uh, this is just an update to show you what I've been working on and stuff but hey before we even go there check this mixing pot out this is seen a lot of action this bad boy I'm gonna have to get in there and try and scrape some of this stuff out like the little GW pot I was really resistant to it at first because I was just using like an old pickled onion jar thing and you know I was my big complaint was oh this is so small and I know it's got the things in that you can keep the brushes in and that's always good but as it turns out it being so small has been also quite a good discipline for me because it means that I go out and um, change the water quite a lot as well so I suppose it keeps me disciplined and the other thing is it's plastic so it's safe and it travels well so you know I could stick it in a bag and if I'm going to go painting anywhere else this is what I do you know it goes in nicely I don't have to worry about broken glass you see here crazy stuff going on with um, all the kitchen roll paper oh the other side is an absolute travesty of colours where I've been dry brushing and wiping off and testing things and um, eesh, stuff underneath anyway <clears throat> let's have a look at what's actually been happening shall we so um, first up the Tech Marine pack is coming along it's coming along quite nicely now um, a lot of the base colours are now on and you can see that I've tried to um, pop in some of those extra like bolt details and bits and bobs, the silver. If, if only this thing would focus correctly, that would be great as well. And um, these guys too. And I really wanted like a sense of red on them as well to pull them together so that they're part of the, the, uh, the Tech Marine experience. Yet yeah, also red is used on the... Dark Angel guns, so I thought, oh, that'll be nice, and it's uh, it's a look that pulls them all together in that way. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But even just with base colours on, he doesn't suck with just base colours on. So I mean, that's cool. I mean, he's just a mad, crazy as hell model, isn't he? I mean, it's just Doc Ock, isn't it, on steroids? Um, we have here. Um, five scouts that I pit, picked up from eBay, ready assembled. I just had to do a hell of a lot of prep work on them. And these particular guys all have a pistol and close combat weapon um, set up. You see Dreadball there. Still need to get a lot of work done on that. More to come there. But yeah, uh, the the intention with these five is that I could either run them as like, you know, uh, a close combat or uh, objective claiming um, team of five, or I could split the, um, a team of the five snipers up and uh, combat squad them so that these five are the extra five men and you know, move it on from there so that I have five in one place and five sort of sniping. So uh, they're still to bring along and I thought, well, there'll be a grab and I managed to pick those up quite cheap or else I wouldn't have done it. I've managed to get a hell of a lot of my army on eBay and it, I was quite lucky at being Dark Angels as well because I was able to double up on a lot of the models and a lot of people getting rid of their Dark Vengeance stuff. So uh, I was able to jump in on uh, a heck of a lot of that too. Now these guys are going to look practically black, but they're not. This is another set that I bought on eBay. And they were ready built with a coat of green on. So I've just gone in with the bill tan and hit it all up. There's a bit of uh, scraping off there because I realised after getting that on that the mould lines had still been left on. They still needed considerable cleaning up. Uh, same actually with the scouts. So I had to get busy with my hobby blade and set of files. That's how I work. Set of three files and hobby blade, and that's how I clean up. So um, these three devastators, uh, team of five devastators from eBay. Uh, I just had to sort of clean it up and prep him. A little bit but now he's ready to you know repaint again for the basing and start actually getting proper base colors on 
So we've got a rocket launcher dude. That's cool. Another rocket launcher dude. We've got a, a heavy bolt. We've got another rocket launcher dude. <laughs> and we've got a metal figure here as the uh, sergeant. So he's just like pistol and close combat weapon. But that's all right because, you know, he'd be the one with the signum. So he'd just be going like, pop, signum, signum, signum. A signum you to the face. Sir. Yeah. Um, Dark Angel doesn't talk like that. And yes. So I'll look forward to uh, painting these guys up uh, very soon. You see what I've been using here with the orange. That is a dry texture. Anybody, anybody, anybody guess? Anybody, anybody? Well, you'll see that in an upcoming video, what I've been up to. So, um, yeah, but I mean, on, on the subject of, you know, collecting Space Marines anyway, I've been lucky. It's easier to collect Space Marines on eBay because, the, you know, as you say, they are really much cheaper and I can just kind of be cheeky and, and just bid what I want. And, I, and sort of like even just like bid half the amount that it would cost off of Games Workshop. And, you know, if I win, I win. And if I don't, well, you can guarantee there's going to be another lot of Space Marines come along because they are the most plentiful army. And, you know, Dark Vengeance has really helped to that for the Dark Angels. So uh, easy, cheap plastics that you can just keep getting at. And so, I mean, for that reason, I'm able to start looking at the uh, the bikers that you get with the Dark Vengeance box and, you know, chopping up the... Um, the Arion Sergeant biker model, you know, lopping the top off and sticking the top of the Termiel library up, librarian on um, from the same box. So, you know, getting a duplicate of him on eBay is going to be dead easy. And, you know, you just sometimes see just whole lots of the, of the stuff. But, I mean, when you can pick up a team of five Terminators for less than a tenner or around about a tenner with postage... I mean, comparing that to Games Workshop prices, you really are onto a winner. And that's how you start to be able to build up Terminators to, like, start to make a um, a Deathwing list, really. A, um, a full-on Belial Deathwing list. And you could do it on the cheap. Well, anyway, projects a go and a plenty. That was just a quick update for you, showing you what's going on. I'll see you at the table.